As we looked around the web this morning, we found a few reasons to make a long story short. Starting with the Huffington Post, it looks at psychological study of people who work on Wall Street. The author claims that one out of every 10 employees in the financial industry is a psychopath. Wow, how about that? <laughs> RantSports.com has a historic moment for, an Amer for American soccer. In an exhibition match, the U.S. men's soccer team beat Italy yesterday. 1-0 in Genoa, Italy. It's the first time the U.S. has ever beaten Italy, which is, of course, a traditional soccer powerhouse. Italy has won four World Cups. Go USA. Our local station in Dallas-Fort Worth, that would be KTV-TV. KTVT reports on a 55-year-old grandmother who wants to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Sharon Simmons says that on stage she blends in with the other women in their 20s. The tryouts are in May. We are pulling for you, Sharon. Absolutely. Britain's Daily Mail has the story of a long-lost novel by Charlotte Bronte, the author of Jane Eyre. It's finally being published. She wrote it in 1842 for a married man that she loved. It was found in a Belgian museum a century later. And Meryl Streep is making headlines again. E! Online reports the Oscar winner's foundation has donated $10,000 to Viola Davis's favorite school in Rhode Island. The check arrived just one day after the Oscars in Viola's name. And that's a long story short. Just when you think, Erica, we can't love her anymore, I she know. does something else. I love the both love of her. them because they're both amazing, right? Absolutely.